Can I just, my last question, mention one person who probably doesn't get talked about that much, but I think Wataru Endo has been fantastic for you. Uh, better maybe than you expected? I don't know, better than perhaps you, people expected? How can you expect that you, that you sign 30-year-old 30 captain of Japan and he will be a standout player in the Premier League, that he will be a good player, we knew. Uh, but what he's making of that role, together with Maka there, or then with Dom, and then with Harvey, who played, by the way, wow, what a game he played. Uh, so, no, of course we did. You never know that people can develop to world class. But they have with Endo and, and McAllister, they have an extra passes. They have quality to play. Like before, was maybe more direct, without losing how direct they can be in transition. But we made transition as well. Watoro. I don't know what else to say. Brilliant. Absolutely impeccable um, and put himself about. I, I love him, as you do. The understanding between himself and Alexis McAllister, that balance that they give us is tremendous. Everything you think I'm going to say about Waturo, I am going to say about him. We love him. He's top notch and a bargain. Probably the biggest bargain of the season. So what have we given him score wise? Well, today I think a score of eight out of 10 is fair for Mr. Waturo Endo. All uh, right, moving into midfield, Endo. Yeah, uh, put yeah. alongside Allison. Uh, uh, alongside uh, uh, Alongside. Was absolutely alongside. Put him in the top two. <clears throat> right next to Virgil. Endo he's Lennon. arguably. He was no, so no, good no, today. He was so oh, yeah. good today. Yeah, yeah, Kevin De Bruyne yeah. had to go off. That's how good oh, Endo yeah, was. I about that. <laughs> Kevin De Bruyne had to be substituted. Bossed it. it. Absolutely. I mean, is there any, anyone who disagrees with him getting 10 and a half? Nope. 100% deserves it. The, 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 the Terry Crews mean when he's got the, uh, and he's got him in a headlock. You know what I mean? He had Man City's midfield in a headlock today, man. And he was bossing. He was he was immense. He was immense. And and what a performance from our Japanese samurai today in the one-one colossal battle against Manchester City at Anfield. What a player, official Carlsberg player of the match, Wataru Endo, just keeps getting better game by game, covered every blade of grass, absolute samurai on the pitch, 16 million, my arse, what a player, what a bargain, McAllister ran him close too as well, he was brilliant, Him, the two of them are pivotal to Liverpool winning more trophies this season, but Wataru Endo is the man of the match in the 1-1 draw, let's go. And for the future of Liverpool, bro, I don't know. You see this? You see this McAllister and Wataru thing, bro? I, that's the, that has to be the steal of the season, bro. I, bro, Wataru bullied De Bruyne into leaving the pitch, bro. I can't, bro. <laughs> I told you, bro. And, and bro, I swear to God, bro, anyone can think it's a narrative, bro. Tell me he couldn't turn on the ball, bro. And then he started doing it to Rodri, bro. Rob is huge, bruv. Yeah. He, he, he didn't care, bruv. You know what I do after every game with Votaro and what do I check his passing accuracy? 96%, bruv. And I can't <laughs> even tell you the two passes that he didn't make. It's ridiculous. McAllister was everywhere, bruv. Just, just, bro, Virgil is the best centre-back alive, bruv. He alive. Bro, is the best centre-back alive. Kelleher, when he was needed, he, he made the save, bruv. And in the middle, Endo... Fantastic. How many times is this is this guy going to prove us right? We love him. He's an absolute warrior. Honestly, I, I can ev I ne rarely ever have a bad word to say about him, so I'll give him an eight. Endo. We've got to talk about Endo. I thought Endo absolutely dominated Rodri. The guy that cost, what, 16 million or something, he bossed Rodri today. He was the best DM on the pitch. Him and McAllister controlled the midfield. I've not seen a team play Manchester City control the midfield like that. When was the last time we said that? I, I don't know. I don't know. You've got to give Endo credit. I think £16.2 million for a player that I have said, I think he's a good player. Like you, you can tell he works hard. This is probably a Milner replacement. They were so unlucky to miss out on Lavio and Casado. I think that's going to be a big miss. Endo's just laughing, saying, you guys wrote me off. You guys wrote me off. Endo was incredible. As you saw on the on the game numbers up on the screen, four out four tackles, one, two interceptions, six ball recoveries. One chance, one chance created. This guy was a monster, but what he did so well, what I noticed was he was tidy. You can't afford to give the ball away to teams like Manchester City, because even though Haaland didn't really do anything today, Foden didn't really do anything today, and Doku had one chance and missed it, Doku was probably the biggest threat. 
But Manchester City, we know they can score goals. We know that De takes one good ball from De Bruyne, one good chance for Haaland. And we know what Manchester City can do. And you don't want to give the ball away against Man City. And Endo, every time he got the ball, he kept it. His retention was key. And I think that helped Liverpool control the game because Endo got the ball and he was being pressed immensely by City. And his ability to use his body to shield the ball and play out from these tight scenarios and keep the ball. But also what he does really well that I notice is he always makes himself available as a passing option. Manchester City are going to press you. Manchester City are going to make it hard for you to keep the ball. But the way that Endo was moving across the pitch, the way that he covers so much ground that he's tiring out the guy marking him because he's got the stamina of, I, I don't know anyone, but he's, he's like Jason Park, that stamina, if you ever watched Jason Park United, can cover so much ground. He was always making himself available. So someone else had the ball, but Endo was there to just give a simple pass to. So Liverpool weren't really giving the ball away. And he was always being a passing option, but when he got the ball, he was making short passes, which is making those short passes quickly, getting back into position, progressing the ball forward. And I thought he was phenomenal today. And I think him and McAllister as a pairing has been incredible. I thought Sobos Lowe was decent as well, and I think that could be their best midfield free. Uh, all three players that they signed this summer. And to think that that is the first season of that they feel free playing together, I thought their midfield rebuild would take time. I thought not having a number six would cause Liverpool but he, he was absolutely incredible today um, I thought the way I've never seen never ever seen someone dominate Rodri like that like that's the worst I've seen Rodri play and I think Rodri is the best player in the world I think Rodri should have won the Ballon d'Or I've, I've made that very clear best six in the world biggest game of the season and Endo was there you know recovering the ball four tackles as I said created a chance but the 96% pass accuracy the four out of four tackles the interceptions the recoveries but the, the ground he must have covered he does so much work off the ball he covers so much brown crowned and he always makes himself available for those short passes that I think he's one of those players where he makes the team play better let's start with Endo um if you look over Kevin De Bruyne in the second half in particular before he got whipped off you'll find him in Endo's back pocket um, just so combative. His use of the ball is excellent. He doesn't he doesn't kick it long. He always plays passes, flick ons. Just he, he's ex he was exceptional actually. Um, I think the best. I think currently the best defensive midfielder in the world is Rodri. Um, and pro maybe just the best one of the best midfielders in the world anyway, regardless of position. I thought Enzo was more than his equal today, which is credit to Enzo because um, yeah he didn't he wasn't no better or worse you know. He, he looked on par with all these top world-class players, and that's credit to him. I didn't think we'd get someone that good when we got him, and I'm, I'm, I'm just absolutely fantastic. I'm delighted that he that he um, that he performed like that again. LS15 put him up a boss. Um, Tony Soprano levels a boss. Says Jason. Endo was boss. Says Hoffa 41. Root says and up a boss as well. Yeah, I thought he was excellent. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm going to put him there. He was magnificent. Um, 